Hey y'all, this is Steve Rack. I was asked about my thoughts on vetting technology vendors for the direct selling space and I just wanted to share a couple thoughts with you. Typically we'll go out there and we'll create a matrix of course that most of you are probably doing cost, functionality, client base, those types of things, uh, how long they've been around. But one of the things I want to make sure you understand is that just because they've been around a long time doesn't necessarily mean that they're, um, they're great or new companies aren't bad either. The reason why that I say that is because some of the best innovation comes from new things. I mean, you can see that in every industry. So in direct selling, don't discount them because they're brand new. They may bring something big to the table. One of the first things I actually look at, however, is the founders and the executive team. Where are they from? Are they from e-commerce? Are they from comp plan analysis? Are they from warehousing? Because that system that you're looking at, if it's got multiple tenants to it and they're from warehousing, for instance, and then they have a comp plan engine, who on their team brings tremendous comp plan experience. So very important to know kind of what the team looks like, how they're structured, who's on that team, and where their experience is as well. Um, one of the things that I actually really start to look at is also show me your tech roadmap. Where are you going? I want to see where this technology is continuing to advance because I know we're getting into a partnership today, but where are we going in the future? The second thing I look at is how scalable are they? Can they handle a $50 million day or just a $5 million day? Those types of things are important because are they a short-term partner or are they a long-term partner? If we start to really grow, are they going to crash at the end of the month when all of our volume is coming into the business? Again, another thing I look at is how extensible are they? How, in, how much integration opportunities are there? Um, are they open? Because that's really important in today's day and age. We want to do a lot of omni-channel things for some of these companies. And how important is that for you to connect to other potential systems? Then I look at, can I get my data out? I'm really, really big on data, a big analysis, big understanding kind of directors, what levers to pull at what times in the business. So can I get the data out? And if I can't get the data out, we kind of have a problem here. I want to be able to knock that out into a database or at least in CSV files so that I can actually spin it together and really look at analysis of what's going on. Um, the last thing I kind of look at, and this is because of personal experience, the how financially stable is that company? Are they in great shape? Um, that kind of stuff is, I really want to know. And if, there, if there's a question mark in the back of my head, I'm probably going to go after a contract agreement that talks about some kind of a bankruptcy clause or a buyout situation or some kind of a code into escrow. Um, because if you're really dependent on this technology provider and they're not financially stable, as we've seen some of these companies go out of business, are you dead overnight? I mean, is this just going to actually happen overnight? You're just not going to have any kind of way to, to continue your business and have this, this transition opportunity. So I definitely look at those types of things. So hopefully this information is giving you a little bit of help and I uh, look forward to talking to you guys soon. Take care.